hey hi guys welcome to today's video today we are going to discuss about access specifier in Swift so generally we have uh, like five access specifier we have private we have public we have open we have file private and we have internal so by default the access specifier in Swift is internal like if you don't define anything like if you see in this particular example I have I have created a class called view controller but there is no access specifier here defined that means it's an internal so we'll discuss about this with a small example so let's first come to the definition of private access specifier as per the documentation private access restricts the use of an entity to the inclusion declaration and to the extension of that declaration that are in the same file this line is very important use private access specifier to hide the implementation details of a specific piece of functionality when those details are used only within a single declaration in short private means that if you def define a function or variable with a private keyword you can access within the same class and one important thing is that you can access in the extension of of the other class within the same file okay so let's say take an example here that I have function called um, private function I'll call it as my print my name okay and then just below it just taste I'll create another class I'll call it as test class and inside that I'll just write a function test I'm not going to do any operation just for testing purpose so let's say I create a object of my VC and now if you see vc dot if I write print my name I cannot access it because it's a private and it can be accessed from the same class so outside class there is no scope of accessing a private variable that's one thing is pretty clear okay you cannot access outside this but where you can access it let's say that if I write a extension of view controller and here let's say I create another function called so my address now if from so my address I call print my name see I'm able to access it so remember this point that and here also like sometimes the interviewer will try to to confuse you like can we access private outside the class yes we can access it with from the extension of the that particular class but within the same file see if the same thing I have created extension of this view controller but this I am doing in a separate file not within the same file now here also what I am writing I am writing another function here let's say that function so my country and now if I try to call print my name see <coughs> this gives you error that the method is defined on view controller and may not be available in this context so if you call this it will give you an error that you cannot access it outside due to the private production level okay now let's uh, see the second one which is called file private now what does file private says file private access restricts the use of an entity to its own defining source file that means the source file is not like class see in, in one file ideally you will have only one class but it's not mandatory like you can have even hundred of the class inside a one file but generally like to have a better code and cleaner code we try to have one uh, class per one file but sometimes so we might like let's say that if I have to create just a smaller class for some particular functionality instead of creating an extra file we write in the same uh, file as well so in such scenarios the file private access restricts the use of entity to its own defining source file use file private access to hide the implementation details of a specific piece of functionality when those details are used within an entire file so now if I change this to file private okay now what will happen will I be able to access it from here let's try from the extension of other file print my name is still not accessible the file private is still is strictly restricts you to access it within the same file okay 
so you cannot access it from the extension written for the class outside that file see i can access it from the extension within the same file okay but the file private also gives you the option to access it from the other class written in the same file so see i can access it from here as well which is a different class so how does private and file private differs private same class and within the extension of the same class in the same file file private within the same class and within the same file anywhere okay so that's how the file private is different from the private but in any case whether it's private or file private you cannot access it outside that file okay now the default is internal okay so if you don't write anything like if i delete it it becomes internal okay you can access it from anywhere anywhere from your module so now see even if i access it from the here from the extension which is written in the different files so internal is access enables entities to be used within an any source file from the defining module but not in any source file outside of dot, that module now what does this mean that outside of dot module now if you see here we are importing a framework called ui kit now ui kit is, is one of the module which apple has written and it contains all the ui related information similarly you, you use foundation each one is a particular module so this project what you i have created here right now which is called access specifier this is one of the modules so if i write anything as internal that means i can access it within the module now what is then outside the module see i have created another framework demo just to show that that i have taken another module and now here i have taken a class called dummy view controller and i'll try to import this module here okay now see here i imported my demo okay now right now this class is open now i deleted it that means now it become internal okay so let's run this demo once and now if i try to see access demo here demo view control i cannot access it because that's internal and this is internal means you can access it within the same module not outside of the module okay so to access this outside the module you have two options what is one is open the other one is public let's first make it public okay now if you go to open access and public as access enables entity to be used within any source file from the defining module and also in the source file from another module also okay now so now if i try to write dummy view controller now i am able to access it because see now i have made it as public and public means you can access within the same module so all the feature which is at the internal level plus that you can access it from outside of, of the module also so let's say that if i have function here also one function let's say so uh, current title okay and i just build it once so see from here i can access it per dot so current we are not able to access it now why because the, we have made the class as public but the function what we define is still its internal so we have to make this also as public then only we will able to access it outside the module okay so now super dot so current title see i'm able to access it now if i make this function as open okay it's still this will work now what the extra functionality you get when you make open that with open you can override the method see this so current title now i can override it but if i change it to back to my public this will throw you error so public and open both are public but with open you get extra functionality that your class or your function can be overridden okay so now if i run this example right now i think yeah it is it is showing it see it is showing two error first thing is that i am overriding my class also which is public so this should be also open you you cannot override a class which is a public 
so to override a class to override a method you have to make it as open okay so that's the difference between open and public see i have my method is public that's why this still is giving error so either i can delete this sentence or i can remove the override from open from here so now if i run it everything should run perfectly fine point which i would like to discuss in the last is like uh, which specifiers should you use like when you are developing a real-time application so like my uh, suggestion would be that if you are declaring a variable or you are declaring a, a function always prefer declaring it as a private because the benefit what you will get that let's say that if you what if if you don't need that variable to be private that means it will throw you error like let's say that if you want to access it outside you will not be able to access if you some error you will get but what if if you don't you know, directly define it as a public or, or open you will never get an error and in that case what will happen that you will unnecessarily expose your variables expose your uh, functions which are not required and that's wrong you should not expose everything what you are doing you should expose the functionality which has to be you know, used by some other class so that's the point that you always prefer going from lower level of access specifier to higher level okay so i'll just summarize one uh, last time about all private you can access from the same class and from the extension within the same file the second one is file private from the same class and within the same file internal anyway in the module and open and public from other module also but open you can override it okay so that's all about the access specifier that is from generally asked in any uh, interview question hope you like this video and if you really like please don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you